What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Ari Visuals YouTube channel where you'll always find high quality visuals and high quality tech. And today I may have just unlocked the new meta for budget PC building. I know this is probably not 100% new, but it's new for me because I discovered this system right here, it may replace all of the Optiplex builds that I used to do for budget PC gaming builds. Uh, this Precision Workstation 3620 has got my mind, I have the wheels spinning up here because there's a lot of things I can do for, with this for the $170 after taxes and everything that it costed off of eBay. So uh, if you guys are looking to build a budget PC, this may be your new option here. So we're gonna get fully into this. I'm gonna show you guys the unboxing and everything that's inside of it. Um, but I remember the seller did not actually include a Windows 10 key with this PC. So you guys already know, we gotta check out our sponsor for that really cheap. Windows 10 CD key. With VIP URCD key, you can install and activate Windows for only 16 bucks. Hey, that's pretty good. It's fast, easy, and 100% legit. You can now enter my new promo code for 2023, RAV25, which will now save you 25% on your purchase. So get rid of that Windows activation watermark and get your system activated today. It also works for Windows 11 as well. Check the links in the description. All right, guys, here's me coming at you from the past. So this is the day I actually got the package. I just got home from work and we're gonna actually unbox it real quick for you guys and make sure that I finally got what I ordered this time since we had so much trouble with the package the last time. So coming at you from this camera at the wide angle and then this camera right here for some top down stuff. So let's get this package on the desk here and open her up. So it's a rather large package as you guys can see. There we go. They actually did put the uh, you know, fragile hand handle with care stickers on here. A lot of times, guys, those don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like the shipping companies, they don't care. They're gonna throw stuff around anyway. So basically, guys, real quick, let me let me read it off. What we're supposed to be getting here is a Dell Precision Workstation, um, the 3620, and this is the version with a Xeon E3 1270V5. So um, I'll probably tell you guys, you know, somewhere in the video why I went with that and not the uh, the i5 6600. Um, Long story short, I might as well just tell you now. Long story short, the uh, the Xeon actually boosts a little bit higher, like one gigahertz higher, and uh, it actually has a uh, the ability for hyper threading, which the i5 6600, that's basically the equivalent, um, you know, the regular i5 version. Um, it does not have the the ability to do hyper threading. It only does four cores, four threads. The Xeon that we have here has four cores, eight threads. Now. Does that translate anything into gaming? No idea, but for productivity, it definitely does. So for the $170 with taxes, shipping, all that, that I paid for this system, I think we got something special here that we can turn into a gaming PC, and that is what I'm hoping to do with it. But for now, let's get her open here and uh, and see if we got what we actually ordered. So I'm just gonna go ahead. That was a terrible, terrible cut right there. Um, let me go ahead and do this. And uh, we'll get this thing open, guys, and see. Let's see if we re received actually what we ordered. Uh, I'm kind of just manhandling it at the moment, but hopefully, hopefully there's no, uh, what do you call it, shipping damage. That would suck. At least, I mean, I received that thing, that, that other Opiplex, um, you know, from the last order, and at least it did come to me, uh, un un it wasn't broken or anything. Uh, it was the wrong PC, of course, but at least it wasn't broken. Anyway, let's get this open here. Um, there we go. Maybe I'll sh be able to show you with the top down now. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, is my top down actually zoomed out? Probably need to. Yeah, it, it zoomed all the way out. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we've got packing peanuts, as you guys can see right here. These are going to get everywhere. This sucks. Let me go ahead, and I'm going to try to just, like, pull the PC out. It sucks. It's got so some packing peanuts and it's bubble wrap. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of inevitable here. These are going to get everywhere. 2,000 years late. Uh, it came with this little package right here. Let me, let me show you guys. Uh... What else is this? Is this like just the PC's power cord? Okay, cool. So at least it does come with a power cord. A lot of times they'll sell you stuff um, and they'll, they'll, they won't provide you with a power cord. So that's kind of nice just to have one. So that's cool. Let's get that out of the way. Um, great, I'm gonna have to freaking clean up a lot after this. Okay, here's the actual tower itself. So this is looking pretty promising as you guys can see. I mean, it's in the shape of a PC. So 
And, it, and it's, I think it's the right shape as well. I don't think we got scammed this time. Or we didn't really get scammed last time. We just kind of got, it was just kind of comical that we got sent the wrong thing. Okay guys, so we indeed this time actually received a Dell Precision Workstation 3620 like we ordered. Finally, um, and honestly, these don't look half bad, you guys. I mean, check this out right here. What do we got on the front? The front right here, we got like a nice front bezel. Doesn't look terrible. I've actually seen some resellers put a, uh, a bezel that fits this and like fit it with RGB. Like that's a mod you can do to it. Maybe we'll do go down that route if you guys wanna see that. Um, it does come with a disc drive, which are, you know, more and more rare these days. And then on the front, you got your uh, headphone and microphone combo right there. And then we also got ourselves uh, two USB 3s and two USB 2s. So for like doing, you know, workstation work, it's a workstation PC, uh, really great. And let's check out the rear IO over here. What do we got back here on the motherboard? So there you guys, you guys can see it there. I'll probably zoom in for you. Um, we got the power supply up here which is actually, if you, guys, if you guys didn't know, this power supply is actually that 365 watt power supply uh, that I used to use and swap into Dell Optiplexes in my old videos. Um, it's like the same type of power supply that they've been using for years. Uh, and this actually allows you to put more uh, powerful graphics cards in these workstations, which is great. And that'll also help us turn it into a gaming PC, which is awesome. Obviously what we wanna do. Um, and then over here, we got, uh, yeah, the usual, the PS2 uh, mouse and keyboard, uh, Ethernet jack, um, oh my god, the old connector there for uh, the VGA, um, and then we got, we do have an HDMI, and then they actually give you this cover here that tells you it's a non-active port to tell you to not plug that in when you're trying to connect to a display, because this actually does come with a graphics card right here, you guys. I didn't realize this until I started looking deep into these systems, but they did come with a like a workstation graphics card. And I honestly have to read the listing here. I can't remember which one this came with. Let me let me actually check for you guys. Okay, so this actually comes with an AMD Radeon card. So we're supposed to have an AMD Radeon R5 3340X. Guys, like this is like a pretty awesome value and I don't know why. Maybe I'm watching the wrong YouTube channels, but I have not seen enough like tech reviewers or tech channels uh, using this system for turning into a gaming PC. I haven't seen a lot of people do it. So that is why I am doing this for you today. And we're gonna probably go down a rabbit hole of doing a lot of videos with this system. So let me go ahead and, oh, uh, actually that's that's a mind blower. It's on this side. Okay, so let me turn it right here to the top down camera. So you guys can see right here um, what I'm doing. So let's go ahead. It has the usual Dell little lever on the side and then you pull it off. It's just like an Optiplex. And on the inside, you might recognize these guts because it looks almost, <laughs> it looks almost exactly the same as a Dell Optiplex on the inside. Like guys, it's it's very, very similar. It's kind of it's kind of blowing my mind. Uh, I can already see how easy this is gonna be to work in and I'm actually very excited if you can't tell. Um, so what we got in this system is, again, we have the Xeon uh, 1270, um, version 5 running at uh, it's supposed to run at uh, 3.6 gigahertz and then a turbo is up to I think 3.9 it said um, and then we do have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 now so another reason why I'm trying to do uh, this system and kind of do a lot of stuff around it is because now we're on the DDR4 platform which runs a lot faster than DDR3 you guys so and it's the new standard um, I know DDR5 is out now but DDR4 is still like what a lot of people use these days uh, and it works great for gaming. So we got that going for us. And right here, you guys, again, we have, you can see it right here. Uh, we got this 80 plus gold rated power supply and it is max power, 365 watts. And here is the key to this too, you guys. If you guys didn't know this, these power supplies actually come pre-equipped with a six pin PCIe uh, connector right here. So you can actually install a beefier graphics card right away without an adapter. Now, if you have an eight pin card or a card that requires an eight pin, all you gotta do is get a six pin to eight pin adapter and you're good to go. So that is another benefit of these power supplies right here. They already give you the ability because um, you were able to upgrade these back in the day to um, have a stronger graphics card if you needed it. Uh, that probably required a, a six pin, like a, I think it was a GTX 970 or a, a 1060 or something like that. You could drop one of those right in here and have zero issues. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
So I said, yeah, we got this, we have the, the, the Xeon uh, 1270, we got this, the 16 gigs of RAM right there. Um, we have our Radeon, uh, what was it again? The Radeon R5340X right here, which I guess we'll have to test that out. And then guys, this these motherboards actually came standard with M.2 as well because we are on that platform. So this comes with a 256 gigabyte M.2 uh, SSD. And this one actually also came with a one terabyte spinning drive. I believe is that 7200 RPM drive? I think it is. So. Um, for mass storage, these are still okay. Obviously, like me, like I like to do everything on SSDs now, because especially storing games, because it makes it a lot faster. Uh, so I suggest you guys do that. But for like storing your mass storage files, these are still fine, and it's a, it's a great little addition to have with our system. But guys, like I said, we got this whole system right here for $170, and uh, honestly, if you're able to buy yourself a pretty like you know, inexpensive graphics card and drop it in here. Um, if you add that together, you got basically a whole system already right here. Okay guys, so now that we know what we actually got, I wanna see uh, if it turns on right away and if we uh, you know, made sure we got an actual good system from eBay here. So let me go ahead, I already got everything plugged in. And the reason I did that was because a lot of times you just plug these systems in and they just work. So let me see what's going on here. So I'm already getting something from my monitor here. My monitor is actually being a little weird, so. Okay, editing magic, and now we're using my other portable monitor. I don't know what was wrong with my other monitor. It wasn't working with this thing, but now my newer one works. And guys, it looks like this system actually did come with a Windows installation, and the seller told me it didn't, but it did. So check this out. Uh, it booted up right to this right here. And as you guys know, that is the uh, original start screen to uh, Windows. So we have a fully working system and it does have windows installed on it so coming in at 170 dollars total for this right here with shipping uh and taxes and everything uh we can add a very cheap graphics card and have ourselves a very powerful gaming computer a ddr4 platform gaming computer um you know for very cheap so again let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and if you guys have tried a, a build in one of these before or a similar system like this and also if you guys enjoy this video right here make sure you guys give it a like and also get subscribed so you'll see the next couple videos i'll do on this system which will probably be pretty exciting because the next one we might toss an rx 570 in here an itx version just to see how well it will do in a brand new game like maybe Hogwarts Legacy, for instance. But anyway, that's a video for another day. So you guys go ahead and have an awesome one and I'll catch you later.